Hey guys, um, it's been a week or so since I posted a video and uh, just wanted to, oh wow, it's so exciting today. I'm pumped. Um, we have received the decal sheet that I've been waiting for for about two months. I think I ordered it on May 10th. Today is July 10th. Two months. Uh, got hung up in the mail coming from Australia my order from Pato for these decals I'm so pumped I'm gonna open it here uh, I think it's my first video showing um, the opening of uh, decal set from Pato but uh, this is what how it comes um, it uh, you know it's got my address on it obviously it's I don't pay for the guaranteed shipping which is like thirty nine dollars or something crazy so um, uh, I just pay for the normal uh, shipping which is like four or six bucks but um, yeah so I'm gonna uh, squeeze it like this it says please do not bend please do not get wet um, air mail from Australia just excited to open this up before you one of the things that you do is it, it, it has here to flex before opening um, I don't know maybe hear in my voice uh, like I'm, I'm a kid on Christmas morning because I'm just so excited to see um, you know what I've been uh, uh, doing the research on for months and and um, you'd see in the the picture of the decals on his website and seeing the car and now I'm actually gonna have the decals in my hand so I'm really excited really pumped uh, to uh, um, to open this up and and to see what's inside hopefully it's everything I, I ordered um, so I kind of just you know flexed it a little bit everything seems to not be sticking too well I don't hear a bunch of crackling and stuff like that um, but yeah so let's open this up I'll go ahead and Use my exacto knife here. Get it started, I guess. Okay. So, how he typically does it is he has a instructions sheet that he puts um, on there that kind of explain you know um, basically just the process for um, applying the decals and doing all that stuff making the cars um, read over that many times um, but uh, but yeah so let's see what we got yep it's what I asked for Okay, so this is the first set. This is Ricky Stenhouse, 2012, Best Buy, number six. And um, that's what I'm making here. Uh, it's going to be this car. So I've already got the car, you know, painted and ready to go. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. So this was $8, um, and you get three decals. So typically what I'll do... is I'll cut it out and since I have two cars sitting over here ready to roll I'll just take this sheet and set it over here to go with those two cars and then this sheet what I do with this let me get a pen here is this will go in my uh, in my in my tin and I mark it so you know I don't forget what it is it's a 2012 and obviously it's a four Ricky Stenhouse that's pretty obvious but the base color is blue so that's the blue color that we would we would paint it and so then I take this here's my stash of decals that I keep in this tin um, I always take one and I um, will put it in with this uh, in this tin and just to save one set you can see how many decals I've got and that's just the Xfinity ones here's my here's my cup set of decals and so what I do 
and that's a 2012. So I kind of go through, and this is basically one decal of most of what I've ordered over the years that I like to keep. And then, you know, if somebody asks me for a, hey, I want this car or that car from way back when, I'll check here first before I place another order with Pato. And so I place this in chronological order, and I'll get to the 2012s. Yeah. 2012 blue. Drop it in there. And then I'll, you know, so basically I take one of, one of, uh, one of what I have and, um, and save that for the future uh, in case that request comes up. So, uh, so that's that first set. Cool. One of the things that um, I'm curious about is with this yellow. If it's going to truly be a strong yellow through the paint. I've had some, when I did some Matt Kenseth 2012 Best Buys back in the day, um, the yellow kind of bled through a little bit. It wasn't, it was kind of transparent, which you don't want it to be. And I'm curious if that's going to happen here on this or not. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. Next one. Okay, this is the other 2012 Ricky Stenhouse car I'll be doing, which is the rancher's car. And that's going to be this. I got two of these in the works. Um, yeah. Sweet. Sweet. I don't know if you can see this or not. Well, you can, but... So, right here, you got the little NASCAR race car logos there, two there, and two there. So you can see, and then you got these little front quarter um, uh, panel decals sometimes, and then the Goodyear decals I see here. He just provides extra ones, extra sets. I see the Sunoco um, decals. There's two there. There's two down here. Um, so, yeah, it's just, just sometimes there's a little bit of extra that he throws in there to kind of fill up the sheet before he prints it. And, uh, you know, it's nice to have. I just save those little extras for, you know, a time when I might need it for another car. But, um, yeah, and I can see here you got the Cargill uh, Ranchers logo there. And he's got another one over here. So that'll be an extra one, too. Because this, I think, goes on the uh, the back side, um, right here between the tail lights. So, um, so yeah, that's how that looks. These noses are always fun to do. Um, I say that facetiously because they're not fun. Um, this decal to get it to wrap around the front's tough. So that's awesome. That's awesome. I'll cut that up later. Uh, the other decal set I ordered is here. Oh, this is all one sheet. So, there's two on this one sheet here. These were $8. Um, 20, or 2003 Smirnoff Ice Matt Kenseth. Um, these are just wonderful. I, I love these decals because um, in 2003, um, Matt drove a couple different Smirnoff Ice cars. He drove one that was all Smirnoff Ice. He drove one that was kind of half and half. It had Smirnoff ice on the hood uh, and DeWalt in the back in 2003, his championship season. And so I can use these decals to make either one of those. Um, he also drove a Smirnoff ice car in 2004. And some of these little decals I can use in that car as well. So, um, so yeah, that's cool. The other set here is, a, is one I've never had before. This is a 2002, again, Matt Kenseth, my favorite driver, um, Jana King that he drove in the Bush Series in 2002, just for a handful of races, but in at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, he drove it with this type of hood on it. So there's one where he drove with, it was a white hood with black lettering for Jana King like this. Um, there was another race where he drove it where the whole hood was black, the whole hood. And uh, the Jana King was white. But in this one at Vegas, he drove it. There was like a this rectangle black over a white car. And the Jana King shone through. And so I have the other two with the black hood, the white hood. But this one I didn't have. And he recently made this decal set available. And voila, I'll be able to make it now. So I'm really pumped uh, to get that and to make that car uh, for my collection. And as you can see, I've got, I can make one for my collection 
two I can sell on eBay to Kenseth collectors and other 164 collectors, and that'll be awesome because that's a super, super rare car. Um, I also ordered a couple city uh, financial uh, Kenseth decals that were a special request. This is a uh, number 17. This was 2008 uh, when he drove this paint scheme. And um, yeah, so I got four of those. This was $14. And then in 2009, the next year, he actually drove a 16 car. Uh, I think he shared the ride with Greg Biffle. And um, this is that city financial car that I can also make um, for, uh, um, yeah, for my collection and for collectors alike. Those were both $14 a piece. It's interesting to see. I think the, if you can tell on the camera, the, the blue on the city is a little bit different. It's a little bit deeper here and not so much there. But these are silver background, so that'll be fun. Um, yeah, and you get the shiny silver. It's kind of cool to, to make those. The last set of decals that I ordered uh, was the uh, Furniture Row uh, Kenny Wallace 2007 uh, decal set that I showed you, I think, in one of my last videos. Um, this is the difficult one that I've got to make. It's the two-tone with the burgundy metallic and the orange, and you can see the decals just come with the black and white. Um, so I have to make sure that when I paint the car, um, you know, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna, the, the seams of the paint are gonna line up correctly, uh, with that. But yeah, I've got four of those. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. I'm just, I'm just pumped, uh, waiting two months for these to show up. And they finally arrived today. And, uh, they're exactly as I ordered them. Uh, the quality is just, I mean, you can feel that, you know, the sheets are kind of heavy. So you can feel the weight of the, uh, of the paper. It's a, it's, it's a good, good weight good quality decals will make really nice cars um and uh yeah yeah um just really excited um cool just pumped to have that and i can i can really start working on these now and uh and get these uh get these going um one thing i wanted to show you and this is just um kind of a mistake i <laughs> uh, and it happens sometimes, you know. I was painting these after I had I had um, uh, this is the 2007 Kenny Wallace cars, and I was going to put the first coat of the uh, um, burgundy metallic on, and you can see it. It looks kind of good on the hood, but this side came out horrible, and I got a little, you know, splitting on the roof there. That's the one car. And then look at this one. This one really, I mean, look at that hood. I mean, that just starred up there. And, I mean, the sides, I mean, that's just the first coat. It's not too bad. This side, look at that crap. I did a horrible job of painting these cars. I'm going to have to redip these and scrape that crap off and start over. Um, you know, so, I don't know. It's kind of embarrassing to show those, but uh, but it is what it is. Uh, sometimes you make mistakes, and um, you know you just got to move on, and and um, you know whatever you know, start over of sorts, or or uh, reverse steps, and and uh, work your way um, back up to where you need to be. So um, um, yeah, that. You know, it's just unfortunate, but it happens sometimes, and you have to do that. Um, let's see. One last thing I wanted to show was I was looking at these two Ricky Stenhouse pictures of these cars, looking kind of closely at them, and uh, you can see I've kind of has this have this ready uh, to go. Uh, the uh, the plastic pieces. Are ready to go back onto this body. I haven't quite done the inside yet. I did the fire extinguisher, but I haven't done the uh, the flat black yet. But the one thing I noticed was on these 2012 cars, the cowl on these is black. 
on all four of these things, uh, these two and, and these uh, two ranchers cars. So before I put the plastic in there, I want to paint that cow black. Um, so this is how I, let me turn this just a little bit and show you how I do this. Um, you have to be careful, you don't want to touch anything but, you know, where you want to touch, so. And I kind of run this in here because if, if I had the plastic pieces, I couldn't do that. Um, and I would definitely be more liable to get uh, get that on there. So, so I go ahead and I and I paint the cow uh, before I put uh, um, before I put the the plastics on there. And um, you know that way I'm not um, I'm just limiting my chance of getting paint on the plastics where I don't want it to go and so I'll go through and I'll paint all these all these cows black and then I'll be ready to put the plastic uh, window pieces back in and, um, and and get all that ready to go uh, for reassembling the car and now that I got the decals I'll be able to start decaling these things I'm just so excited um, so excited to have those decals finally arrive. Um, okay, so I will um, I'll continue doing that, and I'll get this all together, get the cars all together and JB welded, and then I'll start applying the decals. And I'll I'll do a video of, of applying the decals on some of these cars, and and um, and yeah, Colin, if you're watching. Uh, these are uh, the cars I'm making for you, um, one of each of course, and um, looking forward to getting them done and getting them into your hands because I know you've been waiting for a while for these things. And so uh, blessings to you. And um, all right. Thanks guys for, uh, for watching the video. I pray you have a blessed day and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.